Join us during this week's Marine Product Showcase as our hosts explore how the variety of rack systems from Manta Racks make bringing water toys such as kayaks and paddle boards on board your boat easier than ever before, decluttering the deck and protecting your boards. If you're a boater today who likes to enjoy fishing and diving and that kind of water sports, but you also enjoy tow sports and going to the sandbar and relaxing and doing that type of thing, you're gonna run into a problem eventually with where do you store all the gear to do those water sports and put all your passengers at the same time. Now we're gonna have a look at a product called Mantarax. Mantarax has a system that's designed to make a great spot that's out of the way to store all this gear and make room for all the passengers to come along with a day like this. Lori, this is personal to you. You do this type of stuff all the time. George, I take all of these things to the sandbar with us, vacation with us, and that's the problem. It takes up so much space on the boat. The Manorak system is designed to get it up off the floor, and it's also protecting all this gear that you have. On the Manorak, you're protecting your investment. This is a super easy device to incorporate into your boat. It doesn't require any major installation. Why don't we take a look at how simple it is and how quick we can get the boat ready to go have some fun on the water, Lori. I am extremely excited to check out the Manorak today. <laughs> Now the Manta Rack couldn't be any simpler to set up on your boat. There's no installation required. It's as easy as putting a rod butt into a rod holder. And if you've got a zero, a 15, or a 30 degree rod holder on the boat, it's gonna work for you. Now, a rack for a weight board, you only need one rod holder, but the larger equipment behind me, you're gonna need two. And this will fit in any rod holder on the boat. Why don't you show me how simple it is to put this thing to bed? So just pop it in the rod holder. That's it. How hard okay. is that? Now, you said that this actually rotates, so well, let me show you something. Yeah, okay. See how these rod holders are different. This one angles out, this one angles back. So okay. you can rotate it, you can break that open and just spin that. So you can oh. move it to accommodate whichever direction the rod holder lines up on the gunnel. Not much to it, right? No, not at all. Now you've got so much equipment, you could probably use one of each of these racks. Uh, yes, I could, but honestly, they make four different racks. I have all the toys for these racks. So let's dive into this and check out all four. Okay, we're gonna look at the FM rack. This is the foam mat, we call it the water carpet. I know you've got one of these and I've seen you wrestle with it. I don't think there's anything else you could bring into your boating experience that is gonna be more inconvenient to tote around and this FM rack will take care of that problem for you. <laughs> George, you're so right. I'm watching this right now and I'm laughing. Just this past weekend, I brought mine out and I have to shove it in between the gunnel and the console. So now I've lost that side. The kids have nowhere to go. And to watch how easy this is, look at the girls getting on it right now. Um, hello, I could have so used that. Now, George, turn around and look how big this mat is. Now that it's completely laid out, now you can see it on the manor rack. Sure. Imagine that just sitting in the boat. I can. That's a lot of space. Now, when it's all said and done, you just put it back up there and roll it up. That did not happen for me this weekend. This is a really good solution to that problem right there, storing that, transporting it to and from. I mean, I can't imagine it being any easier. So we pulled up to the sandbar today and we actually brought the paddle boards. Now, George, I wanted to show you what my family, what we do when we come out to the sandbar. My boys are teenagers now. We come to the sandbar, mom and dad, we want to relax. They go, crazy of boredom. They're not playing with sand buckets anymore. So <laughs> we bring the paddle boards and the Manorak is the perfect way to do it because it keeps it off the floor of the boat. But I put these up here, we get there, put them down, the boys just take off and I don't see them again. And they go fishing and they love it and they're not sitting with mom and dad. Okay, that's a great idea, Lori. And I'm gonna take it a step further. Now, whether it's a paddle board or a kayak, this has become a really useful tool for fishing in shallow water. Well, what a lot of people do is they take a boat like this, which may be able to float in a foot of water, but you're not gonna sneak up on anything in a foot of water. So you bring your paddle board or your kayak into that flat area, stake the boat out like we've got here, load it in the water, and then take off on the paddle board or the kayak like a ninja. Now those things don't scare the fish away. So this is another great example of how you can use this as a tool, whether you're a serious angler or not. If you like skinny water fishing, this is gonna get you in that skinny water and get you as close to the fish as you can possibly get. George, the Manorak has proven to be so versatile for every boater. I mean, from paddle boarding, kayaking, wakeboarding, 
So regardless of whatever activity you want to do on the boat, there's a manor act for all of that.